my name is Roger Jones. I'm coming to you from uh, an unusually sunny and cool uh, Pensacola, Florida today, this uh, fourth day of January, 2018. And I'm Alan Jones, and I'm here in Chapel Hill, where we got some of that nasty weather from Pensacola. <laughs> uh, we're the Jones brothers. and I'm the younger one. Yeah, I'm the better looking one. I've done less time in jail. <laughs> All right, you win. So, I, I think when it comes to manipulation of genes, uh, the number one thing on, on many layperson's mind is, uh, should I create a quarterback? No way. No way, okay. No, uh, do I want to? Do I want no, to? Well, look at the look at the trajectory of uh, football. It's out. I'd say make a point guard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, but the question is, is 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 uh, are we uh, near a stage where uh, uh, we can choose the intelligence, uh, the the beauty, the good looks, the height, uh, the basketball skills uh, of our offspring? Uh, so, Professor. Uh, uh, <laughs> can, can, can you tell us where we are scientifically, uh, where uh, we stand on this issue, and, and, and if, make some speculation, if you can, about the time scale we're talking about? Well, it's going to be hard to, to, to know a time scale of what we, what we can do when. Um, we, what, here's what we can do right now. We can... Um, fix things, some diseases that have uh, single genes that are associated with them. Uh, we, know, we know a lot of them and we're already on our way. But things like uh, being, you know, athleticism, intelligence, uh, certain traits like that, complicated traits, it's hard to know when we're gonna be able to do that. Some people say never, right? But I don't believe that personally. Uh, you know, I, and I'm even now thinking it might even happen in my lifetime, and I'm 60, so uh, hoping to live a long time. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to happen. So, um, where's the science on this? Uh, I, I heard recently about an experiment in the UK, um, in the news. Uh, what's that about? Well, you know, UK did something pretty cool they, they did something really cool and uh they basically collected dna from half a million people and they have with that dna they can see they've sequenced the dna and with that they know uh, which dna is associated with diseases that have happened in these in these individuals their behavior their traits uh whether they like to sleep on their stomach or on their back, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, well, you know, they didn't sit on it. That's to me, from a scientific point of view, they made a great decision. They just let it all out at once in the world and said, go take this data and teach us stuff. And boy, have we learned a lot. Uh, we've learned a lot. Um, we've learned- Like, like what? what? Well, what? We, We've learned that there are other genes that are associated with certain diseases that we didn't know about before. So they could be in the future, the sorts of things that we can change to correct diseases. And maybe this is more controversial at the moment, but they have associations of, of a finite number of genes, not the thousands I might've thought of not so long ago, but a limited number of genes like between 10 and 100 that are associated with things like intelligence, okay? Can you imagine that? Now, if it's really that simple, that it's a hundred genes, then I think from an engineering point of view, we can do that, not today, maybe not next year, but probably probably in my lifetime, yep. Um, oh, okay, S suppose, uh that I'm a prospective parent um, and uh, thinking about uh, uh, procreating, having offspring. Uh, yeah. 
what would I, what would I do with this information? How can I use it to uh, affect my offspring? Okay, right now what you can do, if you had information like this, what you can do is you can actually take a, a, a pool of embryos, okay, and this is the beginning of, the, of a fetus that turns into a baby, and you can do a screen of the DNA. These, these embryos are, are fertilized, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, and you can um, go through and screen them and say, okay, I want, let's say I want a boy. I only want boys. So you can eliminate half of them. And you say, okay, I only want uh, uh, smart children. So you can look for uh, gene, the embryos that have the genes that, you're, that you've had previously associated with intelligence. Yeah. Yeah. That, and what happens to the discarded embryos? Okay. So there you, there you have a little problem. Okay. okay. So uh, <laughs> this, is, this is the downside, the, 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 the controversial side of this t sort of thing. Yeah, they could be lost. And that uh, we can discuss of whether that's ethical or not, right? What do you mean lost, like flushed down the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and in fact, it was, it was not so long ago. Well, actually, uh, they, we have already done more than just screen embryos, but we've actually um, engineered them. And, and this was done in the United States. And... In order to do this ethically, they had to promise not to use those embryos to uh, to make babies, right? Yes. Right. Oh, not to use the selected embryos. Yeah. So that was part of uh, the transparency of this type of experiment. Now, maybe you heard recently that in China they actually used the embryos that they engineered. And made twin babies, twin girls. Uh, that hasn't been confirmed yet, but uh, we believe that this has happened. Uh, that that's interesting. Maybe everybody hasn't heard about this. Can you can you describe exactly why they uh, why they genetically engineered these twins? Why did they genetically engineer these twins? Yeah. Why why, why did they go in and, and snip so some? What did they do? Well, yeah. the big why, uh, the big why of, of why they did it was proof of principle, I think. Can you make an engineered human being? That was the real thing. Okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, that's, that's like Frankenstein monster, but, but what, was the, what was the story they gave the press? Well, yes. Yeah, so they told the press that, well, this was all done at the Genome Summit, where all the big shots, all the people, all the big scientists in the world came together to discuss this. And it was announced there, and, er by, and everyone was surprised. Uh, hardly could believe this was being done. Um, and uh, the person who did it, Professor Ha, he got in big trouble too. Uh, so anyhow, what he said he did was he went in to a certain gene, which we happen to know has a part, it, it encodes for a, a protein in our cells that uh, viruses recognize. And so he's, he snipped out that little bit and the virus that recognizes it is the AIDS virus, HIV-1. And uh, so, you know, ostensibly he, he was doing this to create uh, children that were resistant to uh, this virus and therefore couldn't get AIDS. Well, we, we all know there's not a HIV problem in China. So that's why I say this is more of a proof of principle thing than than anything oh, else. Oh, I, I see. But if but if this were done in Africa or, yes. or in, in the U.S., <clears throat> where AIDS is more common, then these babies would n then not be susceptible to acquiring the AIDS virus, the HIV virus. That's right. Yeah. And you know that experiment where I was telling you that they they actually did this before in em embryos and then destroyed the embryos? Yeah. Well, they actually did this very same experiment. They just didn't implant them into a, into oh. a baby. Oh, I see. So, so, the, so, so the 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 big jump here is the the embryos actually uh, used to create like a child, actually, you know, two children, twins. Yeah. Right?
Okay. And the thing that really upset uh, every uh, all the scientists at this meeting and around the world uh, was it was done without transparency. It was done without review boards uh, overseeing the work and establishing protocol. Uh, so we can debate all day long if you want about what's ethical and what's not ethical. Um, but what is clear, at least amongst the scientists, is if we're going to go in a certain direction, we all need to know exactly what we're doing and be transparent about it. That's the key. So uh, uh, in, in the U.S., uh, this, this uh, procedure, this process, this experiment would be more difficult because uh, we have the called institutional review boards, IRBs, in the various universities that review uh, these experiments. Would, would this uh, procedure have passed an IRB in the U.S.? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In fact, in the United States, it's illegal to do, to do this with federal funding. And since most scientists uh, uh, use taxpayer dollars to, to um, research and acquire new knowledge, make discoveries, um, it wouldn't have been done. Yeah, it'd be offshore. <laughs> Is it, is it illegal to, uh, or you can't get use taxpayer funding uh, if it's for humans, but can you do it for animals? That's right, you can. Yes, you can do that. Again, you've got to have um, oversight and you have to have transparency on um, what you do. Uh, at, at many levels, your institutional level, for example, is the main uh, overseer of what you're doing. Um, but these couldn't have, that couldn't have been done here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay, so uh, let's circle uh, back around to our uh, new parents. I'm a new parent or a prospective parent. And uh, you uh, are. Huh? Brother, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> You're too old. Yeah, I am too old. <laughs> I'm way You're too old. You're a grandparent, don't you? <laughs> I may not be too old physically, although, although I probably am, but I'm certainly too old uh, uh, temperamentally. <laughs> Uh, so, but imagine I'm younger and a, and a prospective parent, then, um, uh, uh, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, 10 years down the road, let's say it's 10 years in the future. And I have the opportunity to affect the genetics of my baby. Yeah. All right. So, money. Uh huh. And you have the money. And I have the money. Oh, okay. That's another twist, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I have the money and uh, the means to affect the, uh, the properties of my baby. Uh, I can imagine this has all sorts of social uh, implications. Uh, uh, <laughs> we talk about income inequality now. <laughs> I can imagine a situation in, in a decade or 20 years where we have Genetic inequality, you know, uh, exactly. this stuff of science fiction we're talking about, um, and uh, 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 flushing embryos down the toilet is going to drive a bunch of people uh, simply batty. I'm going to tell you that right now. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, what does this mean? Where are we going? Uh, can, do we know? Can we say? Ah. That's a hard question. Don't answer it if you don't want to. <laughs> Maybe we can. Maybe we should leave that for the uh, viewers to think about. You know, that is a great uh, thing to ask. Where are we going, and should we go there? I guess is a part of that. Um, yeah, I think you ought to set up a blog and let's see what what people think about where we're going, and uh, maybe a blog would be a good place for us to find out what questions people really have, uh, and we can address them in, in another episode. Uh, actually, that's a, that's a great idea, and we can do that right now at this very instant. Uh, this video has just been decided. It's going onto a blog, and you'll see down below uh, references to follow-on uh, uh, videos that have yet to be made. It's below me. Below, below, down below somewhere you're looking, uh, <laughs> there, there are references uh, to... Uh, yet to be made videos on this topic, but also you'll see a uh, comments uh, section and also an email section. So please send your comments, send your emails in, and we'll review them 
uh, and, uh, and 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 try try to get to the heart of uh, where are we going, where should we be going with this uh, uh, manipulation of human genes uh, capability. Yep. If we don't know it, we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, but we need your help. This is like crowdsourcing uh, this important question. Uh, in the, uh, the next video uh, actually is already made. Uh, and we think it's the next video. And it will be going into some of the details of, of how this uh, Chinese uh, uh, scientist went in and uh, snipped uh, individual genes and the difference between going into an individual gene and replacing genes from other organisms and uh, the difference between that and uh, uh, breeding uh, farm animals. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, uh, you'll probably see that already below, uh, that link already below. Uh, so uh, good day. This Bye -bye. is uh, Delilah. <laughs> and Samson. You're Samson. That's Samson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>